Today in the comments, I want you to leave a little wave, like a water wave. Like you're waving goodbye as you leave my channel. What's up, you guys? Welcome back. Today we have some tins. We're late to the party as always, but we have had other things to do. But I'm excited because I just went through our promo binder today and we was labeling the things that were missing. And these two are two of the promos that were missing. Now, this is going to be a hard decision for you because you can either have the blue one or you can have Tyranitar. <laughs> and uh, I don't know which one you're going to choose. I'll let you pick. Okay. I want the blue one. <laughs> All right, so we've got some tins here. Looks like they've got... Let's switch over here to our little... Hush beam. One of two Pokemon V foil cards, which is the, the promo. Five booster packs and a code card for the online game. All right, I wonder what kind of pack we're going to get. Good ones. All right, I hope everybody's week has been starting off well. If you have not already seen, the CGC Return video is up. Uh, it was posted on Monday for those of you that missed it. If you would like to go ahead and uh, watch it, you can do that via the link in the description below. Bloop. You can do it now or you can wait until uh, the video is over. It's up to you, but make sure you come back and watch this one too. So here is a per uh, the code for the promo. For the TCG online. And five packs in each tin. Not bad. These are the V Strikers tins. We'll see what kind of a pack assortment we'll be getting here. If this is your first time here on the channel, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to spend some time with me, Wizard of Kanto, and my lovely wife as we open some Pokemon cards. If you like to play the Pokemon TCG, make sure you are smashing that subscribe button and hitting the bell notification icon so you're notified when I post new videos, which I do three times a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Saturday, uh, because we give away code cards in every single video where we open packs. Make sure you're not taking all of them. We want everyone to have a chance to get some. But we also post some educational information for uh, Pokemon lovers, and we are going to get into a new series soon that it will be debuting certain parts of our collection, which I'm very excited for. And we have a couple other surprises up our sleeves as well. So you don't want to miss that. Anyways, what do we have here? Guardians Rising, Sword and Shield, Darkness Ablaze, and Battle Styles. Hmm. Same ones I had. All right. We'll start with the old and go to the new. So Guardians Rising, it is. Going all the way back to early sun and moon. Early. So we're at, this is a 2017, I believe, this set. Now sun and moon. Cards. <laughs> they're I, they're jacked. Some of these recent sets have just been terrible. All right, we got Max Potion, Sableye, Gothrida, Gothrida, go pet a little, pet a little, pet, pet, pet a little, Beldum, Alolan Volpix, a slow boy, Helioptile, Reverse Hollow, a Clefable, and Swellow. All right. Nothing good there. I was talking with uh, Shining Edith the other day about the issues we've been seeing with Chilling Rain. It seems like the box mapping that the factories do is off. Um, more people than ever are seeing doubles of the same Vs and Vmaxes pulled. I actually saw a photo, which I will pop up over here if I can find it, uh, of somebody who got... Ooh, a Hall of Blissey. Very nice. Um, the same cards on the left as they did on the right pulled from the exact same numbered pack on each side and it so, was the same exact cards same exact cards you um one side did have one extra pull but that's that's very very sus for the um for the box the whatever kind of algorithm they, they use to map booster boxes to ensure that pulls are seated and, you know, enough spots. But it's it's been wild. It's been a wild ride with Chilling Rain. Some people have pulled three secret rares from a single booster box. Um, some people have pulled multiple alternate arts from ETBs. And some people have not pulled any secret rares. And some people have not pulled any alternate arts. That would be us. 
All right, Sun and Moon base, or I'm sorry, Sword and Shield base set. Very, very nice. We've got a Galarian Rapidash non-hollow rare. All right. Bloop. Sword and Shield base set once again. Going through here. We're approaching uh, Evolving Skies. I thought it came out August 8th. I was wrong. It's August 27th. I was thinking of the uh, October set, which I think comes out on the 8th. I'm not really sure. Ooh, Zossie and V! Originally one of the most expensive cards in the set. When Sword and Shield first came out, that was a $40 card. Since then, because it is so playable, it was put into a Battle uh, battle Arena deck, which made it incredibly uh, more affordable for those who wanted to use it as a, uh, a deck in the TCG. And the prices for Ultra Rares and above will be listed below as they're pulled, so you will see what the card is worth now. Because off the top of my head, I don't really know. The I'm last surprised. time I checked, it was like $12, but that was a long time ago, too. All right, here we go. We've got Darkness Ablaze, the famous set that aggravated so many because we didn't get the rainbow Charizard in this set. But we do have a Charizard that we can get from this set that we're not going to get from my pack because we got another non-hollow. <laughs> ah, the tens aren't being very kind to us either. I was hoping for Celestial Storm packs because there's a very expensive full art trainer that I'm missing from Celestial Storm that I would very much love to get. Lysia. Hey, a Stunfisk! You're on a roll with the Steel types today. Well, I also got the Hollow. You're getting everything. What's Unfair. New? What's new? It's older packs. Unfair. All right, Battle Styles, here we go. Battle Styles has some amazing artwork. We've got tons of alternate arts in the set. Tons of secret rares. Tons of stuff to pull. Tons of stuff that we're still missing. So let's see. I think there's tons of stuff we're still missing out of all the sets. <laughs> You're right. Phantom Wave. Dotler. A Chime Time. A little Onyx. Sizzlepede. Glammeow. Slowpoke. A Slowpoke again. And a Primeape. <laughs> Dang. Are we going to have a 10 that has zero hits? That's what it's looking like. Yeah. It's a rough one. It's a rough one, the Empoleon 10. I knew I should have given you the blue one. <laughs> I knew it! <laughs> and... Medawak. Alright, down to the last pack. I know this is a pretty short video, but Monday's video was super long due to all of the yapping that I did, so I apologize for that. You do talk a lot. I, I mean, I had to because of the, the nature of the video. I'm not sure when I will be making the second part of uh, the video about card grading. It it might be a couple weeks just because it's also going to be a long video. And I don't want to bog you guys down with too many super long oops, videos. I was confused. <laughs> Alrighty. Fighting Energy. Bruxish. Carnivine. Swordbert and Shieldbert. Or Swordward and Shieldbert. Slowpoke. Fomantis. Remoraid. Cubone. Ponyard, Licky Licky, and a hollow. You got a hollow. I got one hollow. You got a hit. That's trash. <laughs> you got a hit. Though. Put it in the garbage. <laughs> All right. Last pack. Let's hope for some last pack magic from Wifey's side. Who did this? Getting the sleepies. And I, it's, it's only when I did, <laughs> do a video, hey, I start to yawn. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> Ah, mean show. All right, so pretty terrible for those for those tens. Yeah. But I'm excited about the promos. We get to add them to the promo binder. Um, we should do that now. In the Pokemon room, laying atop the other binders. Will you grab the promo binder? Atop. Atop. Yes. One oh nine. Okay. So we get to put him right here. I didn't put the car the names of what we were missing because I knew we were going to open them today. I forgot. Ah. Uh, da 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 da. We haven't opened pre-release kits for a long time, but those are coming soon as well. So we will be able to fill in some of these for Chilling Rain. But the the Sword and Shield the promo binder is is a little uh, a little dry. We're we're struggling with the last couple bunches of promos that have been released. But hopefully, you know, we'll get to fill it in. But that is all we have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe to down below. I really appreciate it. Anyway, <laughs> that's all we have for you guys today. Hope you have a safe one for the rest of your week, and we'll see you next time.